Hi everybody, welcome back! How you doing? It's you, it's me, I'm Grant, you're my team, and today's a little bit of a weird episode. So basically, for context, what's gonna happen is, is we're gonna be picking up in a different save file. The reason being is because I'm actually gonna bring you chapter 3 this time, so, um, in the, le in the main save file that we have for this Let's Play, basically, what happened was, was I ended up doing the Battle of the Eagle and Lions, so this is chapter 7, and I finally got the climax of that done. Ooh, that might be copyrighted. We're not about to do that. There we go. I'm going to click that. That might be copyrighted. We don't know. I don't want to risk it. Um, and I beat the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Checked to see if the thing had been recording. It hadn't. Spoilers, it just, it hadn't. So I was big upset because I just saved over it. So I'm now having to basically speed run in a separate save file. Fire Emblem Three Houses, Golden Deer, right up to that point again, just so I can bring you the guy, you guys the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. But I figured while we're on the way of doing that, I will bring you Chapter 3. So, I come to you from the future in this playlist. I come to you from the past while you're watching from a continuity perspective. Although, speaking of continuity perspective, um, some of the kids will have weird stats in weird places. Uh, it's literally just for speed running benefits. So, we're gonna pick up in chapter three. Can you see, like, here we are. Uh, we've just beat chapter two. So, at this point, what's happened is we've beaten Costas at the Red Canyon. We took them on their first mission. We gave them their experience in killing. Okay, cool. You're up to speed. From a storytelling perspective, from a continuity perspective, it'll be different. I'm gonna try and make it work. Part 1. White Clouds. Garland Moon. Mutiny in the Mist. When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrestia, residents of Fodlin know that the rainy season is upon them. Before the heavy rains take their toll, young women hurry to pick the last of the white roses. The ivory buds are woven into garlands and given as gifts to close friends or potential lovers. There are new places to explore in the monastery. Receive 2,000 gold from the Church of Seros as funding for this month's activities. Story time. Professor, I have a new mission for your students. We have received reports that Lord Lonato has rallied troops against the Holy Church of Seros. Who is Lord Lonato? Why would he do that? Lord Lenato is a minor lord of the kingdom. He has been showing hostility toward the church for some time now. A vanguard unit from the Knights of Seros is already on its way to his stronghold, Castle Gaspar. Lord Lenato's army is nothing compared to the knights. It is quite possible the rebellion has already been suppressed. Even so, I would like for your class to travel with the knights' rear guard to deal with the aftermath. War zones are unpredictable. We do not expect you will have cause to battle, but be prepared for the worst. Excuse me, you sent for me, Lady Rhea? This is Catherine. She will be leading the knights whom you will be accompanying. Nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. If you need anything, just ask. She is one of our bravest knights, and that is no small feat. Only an exceptional few have what it takes to join the Knights of Seros. This mission should prove useful in demonstrating to the students how foolish it would be to ever turn their blades on the church. So it seems the mission is about instilling fear in the babies. I would like to not. It's Sylvain's birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. There you go. Okay. So what we need to do first is I can talk you through online statistics, but we're not playing online, so it's fine. 
We're gonna try and get through this as quickly and effectively as possible, but we're going to suck so bad at it because we need to do world building, then we need to make sure motivations are up, then we need to try and get through this as, well, as smoothly as we can. Now, if we just have a quick look at support conversations, we've already got Ignatz and Lysithia up, so from a continuity perspective, it, it just, it would, it, well, well, it would suck. Let's just pretend that we do, okay, in our current state. Okay, so, uh, explore. Let's go get it, okay? Mission assistance, we can ask for that at the end of every month and we're still on there. No, it was Sokis, okay, cool. Right. What the? Oh, right, they're in site training grounds. <laughs> I'm dumb. No matter how many times I play this, there's still things that I do not pick up on right away. So this is discovering the training grounds because, woo, you know, I've not seen it. Way. Edelgard, Hubert, Felix, Catherine, talk to me very quickly. Come to think of you to train, you really are as hardworking as they say. <laughs> That's right. I'm a force of nature. That's an overstatement. I'm just me. Spoken like a true hard worker. Right, tattered overcoat, wooden button, we don't really care, Felix. Impressive. Catherine, hmm? Her skill is impressive, I'll admit. We're so talking her about her. But I think she's hiding something. Nobody knows anything about her past. You should spar with her. She's strong. Stronger than you are, I bet. But I mean, in my current state, yes, you idiot. Lord Lonato must know that his efforts are futile, yet he can't help but fight. If I were in that situation, I would do whatever it took to ensure victory. You can count on that. Something about this situation doesn't feel right. Why would a minor lord raise an army against a foe he cannot possibly hope to defeat? Mm -hmm. It's stinky. It's very stinky. We don't like it. Right, give me that. Bernie. Goodbye. Right, okay. Normally I would be like, oh, greenhouse hey, and everything. Oh, God. Hey, Professor, do you happen to have any food on you? I'm starving. <sighs> no matter how much I eat before I train, I'm always so hungry after. My muscles must be going through a growth spurt. Hmm, I'm sure that's it. This flower is one that is eating insects. Is that factual too? I am wondering who watches over the plants in Fodlin. Cool, right. Harvest, thank you. This is why our Professor Lang rank is E plus at this point because um, from a continuity perspective, you need to remember it's chapter three, but I'm gonna try and slot this in in the playlist. Like for uploads, it's gonna be like whatever. If the flowers within the greenhouse are removed, they will soon wilt and wither. Is that not so, Professor? I feel I can empathize with them. The flowers, flowers that thrive despite their environment, are truly inspiring, are they not? They're really cool. Right. For uploads, it's going to be weird. For playlist, hopefully we can try and make this sort of make sense, but there will still be minor continuity errors if you look at like skills, stat growths. Uh, things that are really sort of like outside of your parameters of control as a let's player. Right, so let's do some gardening and plant this, thank you, and cultivate, there you go, sweet. But yeah, I just hope you guys really appreciate the fact that I'm able to go back and do a second save file and record everything because I am an idiot, so there we go. Yay. Okay, um, fish? Why? Who? Right, so it's this way. So, oh, it's you. I have a favor. What? I desire fresh air. That's not like you. I just wanted to be alone. Welcome. Right. Please come again. No, I don't care about you. I need you. Higher. For critical ignats. Uh, onslaught. 
Yep. Okay. Uh, Lysithia, no. Marianne, yes. Marianne's gonna get stride. Uh, Hilda can have lure. Leone can have disturbance. Okay. Right. Marianne, Lysithia, my melee. There you go. Thank you. Nice. At the battalion, we're left naturally. Battalions, oh my god. You can but basically, Claude's just teaching us about battalions. Now, nah. they have endurance. Uh, try not to take too much damage, otherwise, they will disperse, and that's okay. Um, as long as you guys have seen it, like in the other episodes of the Let's Play, you more or less know how battalions work. Maybe you're brand new to the channel, there will be a link to Serenus Forest, hopefully if they've got one up on their website, just a guide about battalions. There are many different kinds, it's really Greetings, cool. Professor. Nothing to report. Have you talked with Catherine yet? <laughs> if the knights are the cream of the crop, she's the cream of the cream. Oh, and that relic of hers. I hear it's nothing short of amazing. Right? It's awesome. Okay, right, so moving on. Cat girl. I don't care about her. We've already done her mission as far as I'm concerned. So, Knights Hall and Stable. Great. Cool. Nice. Awesome. Dimitri's inside. Woo! <laughs> oh, hello, Professor. Um, was there something you needed? I came to see the horses. Oh, you like horses? I like them too. They're such kind creatures. Maybe one day we'll make a holy night byla. Might be a bit of a waste considering an enlightened one, but still. Do -do. Hey, uh. Best be on your guard. I like him. I like to do. To do is really cool. Right. Okay. So it's that way. Dimitri. Let's see, after Fargus lost its king, there were many rebellions. It is likely that Lord Lenato's provocations are related. How frustrating that I am too young to take the throne. Rendered powerless by age. If the throne is vacant much longer, the kingdom will fall to ruin. There you go, see? I told you he said he was too young to take the throne, you guys, in one of the future episodes in the playlist. There you go. Right, that's you. Yeah. Catherine has invited me to train with her. Oh my god, you must be so lucky. When's the wedding? How much do you think I should train before I'm ready to train with someone that strong? Uh, a lot, oh ideally. God. She can kick ass. It is a noble's duty to protect the common folk, not to endanger them by rallying armies in such a feckless and improper manner. Abuse of that kind is no better than slavery. A proper noble must guard the people from such a fate, wouldn't you say? I agree. Precisely why true nobility is well respected. I'd have said the other one, but I, I like support points. I like support points, guys. Right, okay. And that brings us around here, so now we can open it, that pathway that's up, so... and that's great. Ferdy! Oh, goodness. I heard about your class's assignment, by the way. Good luck subduing those treasonous nobles. I think it'll be fine. Okay, right. Lions. Nope, nobody in here. Golden Deer. Someone has a quest for me. Downloadable content quest. Oh, hi. Hey, very nice. Clapude. Nice. First that- Well, if we're just going to- t First that bandit business, and now a noble rebellion? Are we ever going to do anything but find and subdue people? Well, if we're just going to tie up loose ends, at least it'll be pretty safe. I don't mind stretching my legs for this one. And if Catherine's going too, there's a good chance we'll get a look at her relic in action. It's great, right? Can I ask you a favor? Investigate the stories about Abyss. Maybe the traveling merchants who come and go and made me know something about the place. Hey, if you heard of Abyss, I was absolutely not eavesdropping on someone else when I heard that name, and I believe there's an interesting story there. Have you got some time to look into it, Professor? A little bit. Yeah, sure. Ah. Right. Uh-huh. Very nice. Let's check out this place then. Hilda, Anna. Abyss. Ancient some folk, but only the most ancient abyss. 
You're interested in that place, are you? Ancient sprawling remains deep below Garrick Mach. That's abyss. Some folks have made their home there. Obviously, they all have their reasons and tales to tell. But only the most enterprising merchant would venture near it. My advice? Avoid going there yourself. I don't want to recruit you. We're not recruiting you. Right, okay, so now we go back, blah, 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 go back to Claude. And then we need to find Leone and talk to her. Ah. Thanks. That was a big help. Abyss. A dangerous area below Garrig Mark that folks tend to avoid. I can't believe such a place existed right under our noses. Maybe one day I can help the whole story see the light of day. Right, sweet. He gave us his favorite ah. tea. Thanks. You skunk. I love him. He's stinky. I love him. Right. Let's have a look in here. World building. Professor, I feel I must speak to you about Kaspar's eating habits. He's right there! I've never seen the like of it. He inhales entire plates of food in mere seconds. It sounds unhealthy. Hence my mentioning it to you. Good luck with him. I literally just say that to you because I want support points. Ah, today's meal was delicious. Linhart keeps bothering me about eating too fast. Says I'm gonna choke or something. Oh my god, he's right there! It's not safe to eat quickly. When you're busy, there's no alternative. Absolutely! I knew you'd see things my way. I like support points, you guys. I'm sorry that I'm just two-faced. What the... If you have a moment, I would like a word. It has been brought to my attention that certain individuals have been making advances toward Flame. Have you witnessed any such behavior? Not at all. Actually... If you see anything similar in the future, please inform the perpetrators of their peril. <laughs> I love Seta. Right, okay. I don't really need to worry about cooking. We're gonna get Mercedes. We're going to Blessed Jelly or Defense Plus One or King of Beast Steak. Okay, I think we're gonna King of Beast Steak this time. Okay, cool, great, nice, awesome. Mm -hmm, it's I delightful. I enjoy making sweets, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna deal with anything else. Cooking is it's much more exciting than studying. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Everybody gets three health, we get some experience for the teaching, and we're gonna go for today's special, and we're gonna get Lysithia and Hilda, and it's gonna be design. Eating. Get your motivations up, sisters. Right, okay, so that takes care of that, and here's my favorite Hanuman speech in the entire game. I'm sorry, but I must vent to someone, Professor. You're familiar with Manuela's slovenly behavior, yes? That woman. She borrowed a book last week and returned it with stains of unknown origin on the cover and several pages either folded or torn. She took the good pages of smutty fiction and she, um... <sighs> she squirted on him. Just now. She dropped a sandwich on the floor, picked it up, and kept eating. When she saw my shock, she said simply, three second rule. <laughs> I fucking love having with you guys. He's one of my favorite teachers. Oh my god. I do, I think he's great. Okay, right. Hilda is somewhere in that marketplace and I am determined to find her. There you are. Professor, your clothes are a bit dirty. Thanks, bitch. I'd have expected you to be more careful, seeing as how you're a professor and all. I hate when my clothes get dirty. Mode. That's one of the many reasons I find it best to train as little as possible. You guys don't understand. Like, Hilda to me is a lifestyle of religion and a mood. I feel called Chill. out whenever I talk to her. Hey, Professor. How's it going? I'd love to catch- For many. No, I don't care. I don't care. I just wanted to get that- Dialogue thing out of way. Right, okay, hi. Since we're heading to Castle Gaspar, that means we'll be passing through Magdrid Way. The road is well known for its beautiful surroundings. Depending on the time of year, it can be incredibly foggy, though. When it's like that, you can't enjoy the lovely scenery. 
Lucky for us, it shouldn't be too foggy while we're there. Not that we'll have time for sightseeing anyway. Bruh. Foreshadowing. We love to see it. We don't. What? Girl with the downloadable quest. Say, I hear that Lord Lenato served the King of Fargus' older brother when he was younger. Or something like that. He already had status and prestige. So why raise a rebellion? Eh, I guess it's none of my business. Next. Hey, Sylvain, hi. Hello, Professor, have you seen Felix around? I swear, as soon as you take your eyes off him, poof, he's gone. I saw him at the training ground. Ah, of course he's there. Sorry for bothering you, Professor. Thanks. Hey, Professor. Pretty great timing. I want to ask you something. I'd like to be in your class, if that's possible. I've been thinking, maybe I ought to get serious about studying. I think we had him on squad when we did chapter two. Uh, again, sorry for the continuity break, but separate save file because I'm an idiot. So invite. Wow, I'll be there. There we go. Right. So basically, we get Sylvain, and that's great. Okay, we have a mission from Mercy. I've heard whispers about Lord Lenato. They say he's a very kind and gentle lord. Why would such a kind man suddenly raise an army? Oh, Professor, you were working late last night, weren't you? You shouldn't overdo it. I love her. A ghost might rise up from the well to get you if you stay up too late. Or so I'm told. I have a favor to ask of you. Those who struggle with private concerns will sometimes visit the cathedral for guidance. If you have the time, why not offer your keen insight, Professor? And that's how we got counseling unlocked. To be honest, I felt a bit lost here at the monastery. At a loss for what to do. Thankfully, a sweet young girl reached out and offered her help. I believe she's Seth's little sister. Lady! Okay, right, so... Best P, whatever, I don't really give a shit, and... Low breath sheath. Okay. I won't read that, it looked like low breath sheath. Are you going to fight alongside the Knights of Saros? I have no choice. Hmm. Let me know if you meet anyone I might be interested in, okay? I'm studying here so I can be the best there is, just like Captain Gerald. Do you think I've got it in me to be a top-tier mercenary professor? No, but I'm gonna say yes because I want support points. You really want to bring in the money, huh? I do. Though, it's about so much more than being rich. It's about honor. Okay, right. Good talk, sis. Okay, uh... To the bridge, and that should be... Oh, it's Ingrid. Right. Hey, girl. Story. We are truly blessed with how fertile the monastery grounds are. Every day, there's something new to harvest. Okay, right, next. <laughs> right, straight inside, council things. Advice box, uh, Ash, uh, I'd like to borrow a book from the library, but there are so many to choose from that I can't decide. Do you have any recommendations? A History of the Founding of Fargus, uh, The Sword of Kaifon. There you go. Are you fucking- He likes knights! What? Thank you so much for your Resolving help. Resolving other people's problems is difficult. You may be able to figure out what they're selling, or seeking, if you become close enough or spend time with them. There are no notes. Right. Hi. Oh, what's going to happen to Lenato? If he's killed, I- I don't know how I'll live with that. Sorry, Bob. You don't have enough activity points to be able to sing with a bitch. Hmm. Maybe. Lord Lenato. He used to stay at the monastery rather frequently. He was such a pious man. A true believer. Such a terrible shame. I wonder what changed him. Uh, do you really want to go down that route because I can go full spoilers? Right, Eloise. I have a Past here is the Holy Mausoleum, where the saints of the Church of Sarah slumber. Sorry, but only a select few members of the church are allowed entry. It's open to the public on only one day of the year, for the goddess's right of rebirth. Chapter 4. Right, okay, that's fine. 
So now we just have to head upstairs. Okay, uh, no one there at present, but it looks like, because I've not been up there and there's a white dot, that there's somebody I can talk to up there, so let's have a chat, shall we? Next month is when a very important ceremony will be taking place at the monastery. Pilgrims from all corners of Fodlan have already started to gather in anticipation. I pray that you are able to nip this trouble in the bud as soon as possible. Over this way. Not that one, not that one, not that one. This one. Hi, girl. Where did you hear the kingdom? The Empire. Did you hear? There's news of someone in the kingdom raising an army. The kingdom, the Empire, the Alliance. They do love a good war, don't they? Spilling the blood of young men and women. And for what? Just to enjoy the horror of it? Yeah. Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? It's extremely important that professors tend to their own studies as well. I'd be more than happy to share my knowledge. Unfortunately, I don't have any activity points, so I'm gonna have to hold off on that one for now, Manuela, but you're a saint for that, so thank you for teaching me how to be boobly. Yes, how to be boobly, by Professor Manuela Casagranda. Professor, Professor, I heard that you may battle alongside Catherine. Even among the knights, she is something special. A holy knight who is able to wield a hero's relic. Still, she can be a mite difficult. Cool, right. Heading over this way. Yep, this way. And out. And down. Now, I do want to head up in here just so I can talk to Seteth and Rhea. Really? Hey. Hi. Ah, and this one. Uh, Last. Those Abyssian idiots. All they ever do is cause trouble. We'd best purge the entire underbelly of Garrett Mock. Touch them and I will kill you. Hey. Right. Iggy. I can't believe this place has so many breathtaking works of art. I feel like I'm living in a museum. Each piece can teach us about styles and techniques from a thousand years ago. Do you like art? Oh, yes, very much. Do you know a lot about art? I'm from a family of merchants, so I've been able to see a lot of art. Cool, right. Good chat. Well, of course. Pointing a sword at the Holy Church of Seros is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself. Meeting out appropriate punishment to the sinful. It is a sacred duty with which we have been entrusted. As a member of the church yourself, I hope that you will take that to heart. Oh, girl, you have no idea. I can't believe it. Hey. That's Manuela. So we need to go around this way, really? talk to this next person over here, get this mission. This should be Gerald, I'm guessing. Hi. The castle? It was by request of Castle Gaspar, <clears throat> eh? I've been there once before, many years ago. It was by request of the son of that family, Kristoff, uh, I think it was. I have a request. Hey, seems like I've lost something. When you have a minute, can you help me look for it? Yeah, sure. It's in your room. It's his tactics primer. And that's how we got the tactics primer. Wow. Later in the Let's Play, when that makes more sense to you guys. Yay. <laughs> Or, you know, it's not. Fuck. What did he lose? Oh, I'm an idiot. He already had it. I already had it, I mean. God, I'm Bennett, why am I such an idiot? Thanks for your help. Hooray. Gifts and lost items, and that's how we knew how to give gifts and lost items. Right, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to, I believe, go here, get this support composite. Oh, 
Who's the support? If the support conversation is with someone in our own house, we are going to skip over it because we've already got it with them. Oh, right, okay. Yes, now's a good time. Yes, we're gonna skip it. Okay, good. Nice. And then we're gonna speed straight through. And it is important that I show you guys, like, the entirety of chapter three, because obviously, like, you know, I, I need to keep as much of, like, the main key story beats up to speed with you guys as possible, right? So, uh, axe, bow, that, riding. Whoopie-dee. There we go, good. Right, okay, who's next? Instruct. Lysithia. Held up. Let's see. Goals. Everybody's looking fine. Instruct. And Leone. Awesome sauce. Begin. Hey, Professor. I got a question. I hate cleaning my room. Ask someone who's good at cleaning. But then we get a lot of Professor points because we're super cool. Professor. Focus on the reason skill to excel as Warlock. Yeah. Nice if your score's been changed. Nice. Let me guess. It's Anna's birthday. Uh, fuck off. It's Lawrence's birthday. Yeah, we might as well. Thank you. They do their shit. Well, they get some points. Experience is everything. I'm and we're just gonna fly through it because you've probably seen a lot of this already. I'm so really yay. Right. Fifteenth. I could, but it's more important to explore, to be honest. I could battle. I don't want to. Right. Plants, dining hall. Do actually, plants, Manuela, dining hall. Inspiration. We're nearly there. Wrong way. This Wait. way. That's it. Where did you keep spilling? Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? I simply must thank you, Professor. There we go! This is what it looks like on a regular day when you're able to just blaze through everything and try and get as many things up to scratch. Right, okay, we're gonna go with today's special, we're gonna go with Claude, and we're gonna pick... I don't know. You know what? We'll go with Ignaz. We'll go with Ignaz. This is fine. Right. That's... I'll f Boom. Nice. Today's menu, and we'll go with Leone, Lysithia. Up! That eat. Awesome! Right! Instruct. Right, Claude. Get your bow rank up to... That, there we go. Raphael. He likes to hit things. It's guess up. It's right, Leone. Yep. <laughs> See, she's doing great. Okay, Lysithia. Nice. 
Ignax, I guess. We don't have activity points. That is perfect, actually. Begin lecture. Professor? Uh, focus on riding to excel as cavalry class. Absolutely, because then you can get X plus four. That's great. How's Lysithia doing? Yes, I'll go for a visit, even though we've already got the support conversation, but yeah, whatever. From a continuity standpoint, okay. I know when I layer this up as a playlist, and this is the first thing that you see instead of the it's fun when you know what you're doing. other episodes that came after it, like explaining the loss of a chapter three, it's not going to make any sense. Oh, get lost. <laughs> We're not doing anything with her. Goodbye. Explore again. Because honestly, we're going to be just fine. I guarantee you, we're going to be just fine on this chapter. That's so move. move! Move, 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 Right, right. Right, right. <laughs> Gardening. Harvest, there we go. Good. We even got a gift. And plant. And one, and one, and done. And cultivate, and prune, and done. Nice. Run away and around and fight no. dining hall. There we go. Oh, no, not you. There we go. Good. Today's special. So it's Claude Raphael. Go. That's this. Hey, nice. D plus. Okay, so we want Hilda Leone and up. Nice. Eat that. And there we go. Right, nice. I like small. Speeding on through. Instruct manually. Instruct. Right, Claude. Let's have a look. Goals, Claude Archery. Okay, good, right. Instruct. Lysithia. Nice. Okay, good. I don't know why I keep backing out in it. Here we go. Raphael, Marianne, Hilda, Leone. Well done, she, because she's a queen. We love Hilda. Yay. Nice. There we go. She's doing great. Okay, Marianne. a long way. Leone, don't run up for activity points because this is what happens when we don't pay attention. Right. Uh, goals, group tasks, stable duty, they're doing great, and begin lecture. Good. Professor. Focus on axe skill to excel as a Yeah, yep, there you go. Nice. And speed to the end of the week. Ah, well, I mean, let's just do Leone's support, but let's not because we did it later on and we already stated why I hate her so much, so yay, there we go. Haha. <laughs> I thought we did a good job. It will make sense when you watch the other episodes, it's I promise. Now I see the heart of it. That Better one's aimed more. specifically at the people that are coming into this one, that are watching it through the playlist. There you go. Right, okay, uh, seminar. Then we'll do... Aloise. The glory of progress. I think I've got the hang of it. Huh, I'm actually pretty good at this. There you go. Right, okay. Motivation of all attendees increased by 50. That's great. And here's the final showdown of the month. Not that we're actually frightened or anything. Level 5, this is fine. It really is an honor to accompany Catherine, wielder of Thunderbrand. I hear you're intimidating enough to silence the howling winds. Thunderbrand? What are you talking about? You mean you don't know? My weapon is called Thunderbrand. It's one of the hero's relics. A long, long time ago, the goddess bestowed divine weapons upon ten heroes, which were passed down to their descendants. 
It's an honor to wield, but I'm afraid there won't be any chance for that today. Our mission is to help clean up the aftermath, not to fight. Why would Lord Lanato incite such a reckless rebellion? He had to have known he had no chance of winning. It all goes back to the tragedy of Dusker. I've heard of it. I don't know much about it. It happened about four years ago. The King of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus was murdered by the people of Dusker. And that about covers it, right? Nope! To put it simply, yes. But there's more to that story. They had accomplices within the kingdom as well. Lord Lenato's son, Kristoff, was one of them. And so he was handed over to the church for execution. The church executes criminals? Why was the king targeted? King Lambert was attempting a major political reform. Needless to say, he had many enemies. Whatever the truth behind that incident may be, Lord Lenato has harbored resentment toward the church ever since. Well, to be more specific, his grudge isn't only against the church. It's also against the one who turned Kristoff over to them. Report! The enemy is approaching. They can't be avoided. Their numbers are far greater than we predicted. They use the fog to slip past the Knight's perimeter. It looks like our mission just changed, Professor. Everyone, prepare for battle! I will tell you now, this is what we call a Fog of War map. We hate them. Okay, so... There's enemies hiding up here, all around here, all across here, down here, round here, round here, and this fog's just controlled by a single mage that's round about this area somewhere. But we want to get up here, while taking care of everything along the way, and keeping these three stooges alive. Catherine's pretty much got that covered, so let's just take a look at our units. Okay, we've got Sylvain, Leone, Marianne, Raphael, Lawrence, Lysithia, Hilda, Ignatz, Claude, and me. Claude is the highest level. We don't need to worry. Let's talk about position. Okay, let's put Lawrence up there, Hilda over there, Claude down here, Ignatz. Everybody else is fine, actually. The only over there, Marianne over here. Now everybody else is fine. Defeat the enemy commander. With this fog, it's impossible to tell where the enemy might be, or how many of them there are. The enemy could be trying to surround us, but they shouldn't have enough soldiers to form a tight circle. Take down anyone who breaks through the fog, and let's push through! The conditions are the same for both sides, but we're at a disadvantage for not knowing the terrain. I mean, sure. Proceed with caution. Wait for them to enter your field of view. Low visibility maps. On battlefields with thick fog, your units will only be able to see enemies that are close by. Proceed with caution. A unit's movement will be cut short if it is interrupted by an enemy. You can earn a reward if your allies do not suffer heavy losses. Be careful not to let your allies flee. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to very quickly change options so that combat animations are back to on. There we go, because that's how I managed to get there this quickly. So. Uh, I'm gonna just move Hilda straight forward through this lot. Okay, nice. Ready anytime. Ignatz, there. Raphael, I got this. along here, and everybody's just gonna run straight forward. Ready That's pretty ready. much the strap. Everybody's just gonna pretty much run straight forward. Stay focused. Leave it to me. I stand ready. Let's get to it. I'm on it. Who oh, me? Lord Lenato doesn't deserve such sadness and anger. Now it's your turn to suffer. You think we're just gonna do nothing while you try to kill our lord? Damn, Catherine. She merciless. Right, okay. Get out of here. Oh, Ralph, well done! 
Every single one of the 66 is just here. Raphael's a demon. We love him. Well done, buddy. Right, okay. Again, levels are weird because continuity is a bitch. And it's practically impossible to try and maintain continuity on Fire Emblem. So we're going to swap to an Iron Axe. We're going to wait. We're going to have Hilda wait up here. You know, because we're a good girl. You know. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have Marianne come here heal. Yay. Thank you. So that's why you see that there's like a 2 and then like 0.5 or whatever. Like, whatever. Like, whatever this episode number is. 0.5 of like the original one that came before it. While it's recording, I might be able to find that art, to be honest. Should be able to. Hi. Right, so there's me. Being all awesome and shit. I really should just be using Marianne's Strike Gambit, to be honest, to just get her straight through all of this, get everybody straight through, you know? But, what can I say? I'm an idiot! So this is episode 6.5. That's what this is. Catherine officially sucks. start the war, but it's the commoners who spill their blood first. He's not wrong. I could use a break. Right, okay, I don't... How about we just wait there? Oh, hi, opening. Right. Jump at these guys. Did the trick. There you go. Gotta remember when Sylvain were a soldier. Right, okay.
The fog is lifting as a result of the Dark Mage being defeated. It seems the fog was being caused by magic. There's nothing left to hide you or the filthy central church from the judgment of the goddess. Right, carry on. Enemy phase. Okay, let's see. Let's put Sylvain up here. Put Hilda over here. Um, hmm. Of course you would. Why wouldn't you? Right. Put Ignatz over here. Problem child. Let's see. Move Lysithia up that way. You know what, we're going to put Marianne up here, she's going to heal Raphael. There we go. I guess one thing actually stayed in continuity and that's Raphael sucking at getting level ups. So you'll understand in the next episode when I turn around and say that Ignat's got like 17 crits, because I do, I turn around and I say that. Um, again, him not getting crits is one of the things that falls in parameters of not getting to keep continuity. Because obviously, you know, when you, hey, thanks buddy, two crits back to back, I appreciate. But yeah, um, it's just, it's crazy, you know. Right, okay, we need to start wrapping this up, like, hey presto, so, Marianne, thank you. Thanks. Right, okay. Let's see, Hilda, can you move up while she... Thanks, sis. Gambit. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna use an item. No, I can't. Okay. Iron Axe, oh my god, queeb, absolute queeb. Yas queeb. Queen of weebs, she's the queeb. Or if you mistype Queen by hitting N instead of B. By hitting B instead of N, then you get Queeb, Woo, Queeb, Yoss Queeb, Yoss Queeb. Right, okay. Leone? Fuck. 
Right, let's put you there, put Violeth here, I guess. Sylvain. Right next to Leone. Nice mirror. Oh gosh. Part of me wants to say she'll be alright with this. I'm trusting her. Not the smartest decision at all, but I trust her it. This is a much weaker Lysitia pill than what I've previously gone for, I think. Um, okay. I have confidence. I have none. Lysithia is dead. It's time. Try to keep up. Jesus Christ. Asshole! Absolute asshole! I said she'd be dead. I said she'd be dead, bitch walking. Right. Bring it back. Leave it to me. And we're gonna put Lysithia there. We're gonna move Lawrence up here. Raphael straight across. And let's go. Like this. You did no damage. You hurt Byleth. Really? Oh, you suck. Egg rolls. Right, okay. I'm on it. Stay focused. Let's get to it. I could use a break. Somehow, I think she's gonna be just fine. Who, me? Ready and willing. Ready anytime. Queenery on display, we love to see it. Right, okay. We love to see it. his last fire. She can't do any damage. He's a dead man walking. That witch! Well, gee, thanks for calling Rare a witch. Right, okay. Uh, Iron Lance, but like, how? Oh, you have a javelin. Well, shit. I'm on it. Ready and willing. <laughs> Stay. 
steady now. There we go. Right, that should do. Nice. Good. Stay focused. I got this. Ready well done, problem boy. There we go. Let's Good. Right. Sweet. You have been deceived by that witch. I will show you. There is the something truth. else that I wanted to see further up in this. Okay, fog is clear, nothing left. Starts with commoners. Well, not a please don't die. Power was mine. Get a reward if you do not suffer heavy losses. Lord Lenato doesn't deserve such sadness and anger. Now it's your turn to suffer. You think we're just gonna do nothing while you try there we to go. kill our lord? Carry on. Should have left him equipped with the. Oh, go on. You. I will be the one to kill you. No other. You have lost all sense of justice. You want to fight me? So be it. I'll send you to meet your goddess. Right. Who, me? Hilda Smash. Might as well go for Wrath Strike then. Oof. Me tit, you're gonna break me boobs. There we go. Right. Good. Oh god. Bitch. To fucking look me now. Okay, right. <laughs> Steady now. Who me? Have him heal up. Ready and willing. There we go. Stay focused. Let's get to it. I'm on it. Simple enough, right? Ready anytime. I got this. Who, me? Leave it to me. Call me a heretic. Leone, thank you. Hmm. 
And that was chapter three. And that's what you missed. Well, to an extent. Christoph, forgive me. So that's the retelling. And Ignatz is a beast, and we love. I never thought I'd see Lonato meet this fate. Well done, everyone. Let's gather our troops and go. Your allies did not suffer heavy losses, so you were rewarded by the Church of Cero. So you got a secret book. Very nice. You got a goddess icon. Very nice. Okay, stage complete. My dread ambush. Sylvain for MVP. Woo! Remember when we see the MVP stuff on the end screen? that this was done in a separate save file, so that's not going to be necessarily in continuity with the main save file, because I can't even remember. If it, if it was Sylvain, cool, it was in continuity. If it wasn't Sylvain, that's why. There you go. Right, so let's wrap this up. Nice work, Teach. Still, that fight left a foul taste in my mouth. That aside, did you see how Catherine fought? She's incredible. I'm stronger. Agreed. I thought the power of the hero's relics must be exaggerated, but I was clearly wrong. Makes you wonder about that legend. What legend? Oh, it's nothing. Just the usual fanciful nonsense. An ancient relic that once cut a mountain in half with a single swing. That's what they say, anyway. But as amazing as Thunderbrand is, I don't think it fits that description. Apparently, Relics can harness tremendous power for those with a compatible crest. Though you can technically use one so long as you have any crest at all. Yeah, I don't know. Long story short, I'd like to try cutting a mountain in half someday. Ooh, are you talking about relics? You'll be able to use one soon, Claude. I just know it. After all, you've already been selected as the next head of House Regan. Easy there, Hilda. I don't know how apt soon is. My grandfather is still unbearably healthy. Oh, is this news to you, Teach? Yours truly was recently recognized as a legitimate child of House Regan. They possess one of the hero's relics too, though I've yet to see it. Just recently? You've not seen it? You haven't seen- How have you not seen it? I was raised by my father. House Regan is on my mother's side of the family. When I learned that my mother was the daughter of an Alliance noble, I was so surprised, I thought the whole world was pulling a fast one on me for a week. So that means your mother is Duke Regan's daughter, right? Where is she now? I can't say. My mother is currently living in a different world than the one she grew up in and has no desire to return home. Um, okay. You sure have a lot of secrets, don't you? I'm just keeping a promise to my parents. Make of that whatever you will. In exchange for my so-called secrecy, I'm free to do as I please. Which is why I decided to see what the other side of my family was like. That's how I found out about this strange crest I bear. Professor. Claude. It sounds like the troops will be withdrawing soon. We should return as well. We won. We should be celebrating. Instead, we're heading back with heavy hearts. Whoa there, what's the matter? You look as sad as a kitten without any yarn. If we hadn't done what we did, the rebel army would have followed this road all the way to the monastery. And they would have crushed all the little villages along the way. We stopped that from happening. You should be proud. Sorry to intrude, but this incident may be more serious than anticipated. I found this on Lord Lenato. It's a note that mentions a plan to assassinate Lady Rhea. We can't tell who sent it, so the source is suspect. But the content is too disturbing to ignore. We must report this to Lady Rhea right away. I hope that it's nothing. I am glad to see that you have returned safely. The Goddess is gracious with her divine protection. But it was not only her divine protection that shielded you, was it? You are just as skilled as I had hoped. My students deserve the praise. I still have much to learn. There is no need for modesty. I heard some of the students were hesitant about fighting militia. However, 
We must punish any sinner who may inflict harm upon believers, even if those sinners are civilians. I pray the students learned a valuable lesson about the fate that awaits all who are foolish enough to point their blades towards the heavens. Our real concern is what Catherine reported, the secret message that was in Lord Lenata's possession. It contained a deplorable plot to target the Archbishop on the day of the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. The plan seems unrealistic at best, but a threat is a threat. We must maintain constant vigilance. To that end, I would like for you and your students to help with security on the day of the ritual. You can count on us. We won't let her down. Won't that endanger the students? That is most reassuring. You have my gratitude. The rite of rebirth is of paramount importance. It is when the Church of Seros and its believers unite to pray for the return of the Goddess. The Archbishop and I will be confined to the Goddess Tower once the ritual begins. Of course, the Knights will be on high alert as well. But there aren't enough of them to keep watch on every corner of the monastery. It is far from ideal to be forced to mobilize students, but the gravity of this situation requires that we all bend to avoid breaking. While there is no need to fear for my safety, we cannot turn a blind eye to those who would blaspheme so heinously. With any luck, this will all be for naught. Still, be on your guard. Naturally, this is where we progress into chapter four and the playlist will return back to normal. So guys, if you've enjoyed this little weird break from regular Fire Emblem, like proceeding in a normal orderly fashion, and being able to recover, like, the main story part of chapter three. Yes. Okay, great. Then by all means, feel free to press like and subscribe. And please try and help me out because, oh my god, I can't believe... This could all have been avoided if, one, when I did this the first time, when I did chapter three the first time, if it had just recorded. And two, if I did not, like, mistook chapter seven showdown for actually recording instead of not recording, then... Of course, that, you know, it could have been, it could have been avoided. Yay, it is what it is. Oh well, anyways, get you later, love each other, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and goodbye.